Welcome back to the show. We are here on location at Hollywood School to chat about an amazing community grant that was just awarded to Hollywood. Joining me now onto the show is Assistant Principal Suzanne Prefontaine. Uh, Suzanne, you guys received $40,000 from Aviva. That's Tell correct. me, how is that going to make a difference here in your courtyard classroom? It's going to allow us to finish the project. So this is a project that we started, uh, the courtyard part, three years ago. And every year we've been fundraising, trying to get small little donations. And uh, the 40,000 is actually going to let us finish the entire project okay. so that we see it to completion. On this side of the project, we see tree stumps. There are kids taking part in a kind of activity. What are they doing here right now? Right now, these children are doing a math activity. They're working on perimeter and area. So they're measuring the space and trying to figure out what the perimeter is in case we need to put a fence around the courtyard mm -hmm. and what the area is when we need to grab, buy some grass seed. Love that they're out and about instead of in the classroom. Have you seen an impact due to this kind of outdoor education with your kids? The biggest thing is the engagement because they've been given an authentic learning task right now and uh, they want to find the real answer. So they're totally engaged, they're loving it, and they get to enjoy the great outdoors. Something that you told me off camera that I think is just amazing is that this land used to be a cement parking lot. You guys decided to uproot it, do something new. The other side is completely bare. What's going there? What is going to be created with this uh, funding? Okay, so on the this side over here, we're going to be putting in a fossil garden. Ooh. So basically the theme of our courtyard is Alberta's past, present and future. Mm -hmm. We're currently sitting in the present and future area. Okay. That area is the past. So we're going to be putting a fossil garden uh, with more seating more shade trees so that children can come out. We're gonna have an area where they can have picnics and as well we're gonna be putting in, we hope to have enough money to put in a teepee oh, to represent nice. the, again, the past portion of Alberta and to go with our social studies curriculum. Weather stations so that we have children out here constantly. And the kids are just loving it. For many of them, this kicked off during kindergarten. Now they're seeing it go even further. Just a, a great storyline for all the kids that attend Hollywood. Absolutely. Everybody's delighted. In the whole Aviva project, they were voting every night. They were getting their neighbors to vote. Mm -hmm. They were getting their friends to vote. Um, it's just been, it truly has been a school-wide project. And I'm going to go further. It's going to be, it's been a community project. Well, congratulations once again. What a, an amazing uh, initiative you guys took on. Thank you so much for letting us come down here and broadcast the show from this location. Well, thank you for sharing in our story. Thank you, Suzanne. All right, moving right along here, changes might be on the way for how autism is diagnosed in children. Next up, Tammy Karachuk finds out how the autism community feels about these proposed changes. <laughs> 